Hi everybody, it's part 28 in our uh, instructional cooking si uh, um, series for uh, special children. And today we're going to show how to make uh, smoked salmon um, with real smoke, not like the Costco uh, version that they're selling now, which is made with liquid smoke. Um, but we're going to do real smoke. So the first step is we got to get our fire going. We have, I'll show you, we have thermometers on this baby. Right now inside the uh, cooking chamber, it's 100 degrees. We need it to be about 150 to 200 degrees. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to light our fire. What we have here is a chimney starter from Weber. Uh, on, on the bottom, we have uh, crumpled up newspaper. Then we have these paraffin things. This is a little bit of a cheat, but paraffin is basically like a wax item. It's, it's not toxic and it burns, so it'll just make sure it gets going. And then after that, I have regular, um, uh, whatever the name brand, uh, charcoal, um, not with the chemicals, just regular charcoal. And then on top of that, I have some of the more chunky, like wood type. And typically I would piece put wood, but I don't have a ton of wood right now, so we want to save it. And what we're going to do is we're going to light this fire right at the bottom. Now, Shevet, what about fire will make this work? What property does fire have? Yes, you do. Talk louder so they can hear you. Fire goes up. That's the property. So unlike most things that because of gravity go down, fire goes up. So if we take the thing on the bottom that has the most flammability, like dry newspaper, and then the next thing underneath it has a little more flammability, like the paraffin, and then a little more like the, uh, like the charcoals, the idea is the fire will go up, and in about a half hour or so, this will be one smoke in place and this whole thing will be on fire. Now we'll wait until this uh, chimney is completely a raging inferno of smoke. Now my, my followers from Churchill Road will remember that this was a common Friday activity on our block. And um, a, lo a lot of times we would do it at like, uh, you know, like four or five in the morning um, and uh, like the whole block would fill with smoke. And even the firemen got called like at least three times. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're, we're making our fire. As soon as we get, I'm gonna show the, the flames are coming out now. As soon as this comes up, you know, right now it's still off the paper, but once it's coming up and the whole thing's on fire, that's when we'll transfer it into the fire chamber and we'll come back again. All right, we'll sign off. While the uh, fire's getting ready, we can get ready our fish. Now, there's a lot of it questions and how to do fish on a grill. Some people put it under lettuce. Um, some people just put it straight on the grill. Um, I like a cute little trick, which is the Soulpat sheets, the silicone sheets you use for baking. These you can tell have been in our pit, so we don't use them for baking. And I'll uh, put it on here just to get ready. And uh, we have some gorgeous, gorgeous fish. We have two types of fish today. We have sea bass, which is it's, it's a, a real treat because it's an expensive fish. But we got a good deal on a, on a loin of sea bass. And um, tomorrow your, hand, your finger's blocking. Yeah, mm -hmm. tomorrow. If you see uh, an a orange spot, it's tomorrow's yeah. finger. No, it's not on the other camera. Um, so we got a couple pieces of sea bass, and I got a beautiful fillet of salmon. I'm very excited. Now, do you know how? Do you know how uh, you know, girls? Do you know how you know if uh, salmon is kosher? Just check it out. Do you know how you know if salmon is kosher? Good cinematography. Get off your ass. Okay. Wait, we'll tell me where we're going. I already started. Okay, so you already started. Good. So here's the sea bass. I feel that it's got um some some uh um bones. So we're gonna try and find the tweezers in somebody's makeup case and take care of that. Um the the way you know that salmon to answer the question, yes, Shoji, the way you know that salmon is kosher, yes, one way is knowing that because it has skins and skins scales and fins, but, yeah. but the reason you know is because salmon is the only fish that has this color. And so any fish with this color, you can actually buy this fish without the skin on it and you know that it's kosher. Other fish, like tilapia, for instance, when they freeze it, they always freeze it with a tiny bit of skin still on it so that you can see that that is what fish it was because there's lots of fish that look like that. So there you go. Okay, Ricky, can you please put these towels away? Okay, now we're setting it up, we're gonna flavor it up. I'm gonna cut off the thin part, and then we're gonna put the rest in. You can stop. Are we on? Yeah. The sea bass, we put lemon pepper. On here, we put some uh, pepper, garlic salt, and uh, Italian seasonings, liberally. Now, the next controversy is where to put it, because you can take this whole pan with the silk pad and put it right in your grill. That's fine. There's some people that, that, that uh, you know, 
think that fish and meat are some kind of danger. So we, don't, we want people to be comfortable in our house. So what we do is um, we have a separate uh, grill, grill uh, tray. So we'll go outside and do that. He'll stop and we'll come out. Okay, we're outside and it's uh, still steaming up. But I wanted to show you what uh, we're going to do. So this grill has, um, it has two levels. I only have one level in there now. But uh, we bought, in anticipation of uh, the, all the religious people we know, we bought an extra grate just for fish. See how uh, little use it gets versus uh, the big grates, right? So put that in like that. And uh, nice and beautiful. And uh, here we got the sea bass and we have the, uh, the salmon looking good on its own. Uh, I mean, I guess I get it. If you're not gonna put it on a tray, the salmon comes out and hits the grill a little bit, but I don't know. Um, we got the frames coming. We're still uh, a little early on that. Give it some more time. And um, this is gonna cook up nice. Now, just by the way, for those of you who are planning like smachot and want kiddishes and stuff, if you take a whole salmon that you can get at like Restaurant Depot for a really good price and then put it on here and smoke it all day, it looks gorgeous. You peel off the skin, it's a whole fish. It's smoked gorgeous. We can do that. Okay, here's our thermometer. For our pit, you can see this is a barbecue pit by Close. Dave Close, who built it for me and was uh, had a problem with the fact that, um, get this ready, had a problem with the fact that I told him I wasn't going to put a pig in it. He said that he never built a pit without having pigs go, go in it. And I said, explained to him that we don't eat no swine. And uh, I don't know, he debated for a couple days whether to build me the pit, but I convinced him eventually. So we've eaten, we've eaten well off it. So now we got the fire going, fire raging. And we put in some uh, apple chunks. And the fish is ready to go. We'll close this up. we we'll close this. And now all the smoke will come out there. It's hard to see, but smoky. The temperature will go up and we'll make some fish. Right, we're, at 200, we're, at, uh, we're at 200 degrees. And look at how good that's looking. So we could use a thermometer. We use the thing, the finger test. That's looking pretty good. This could use a little bit more, but it's pretty good. Almost. Okay, two hours later, and take a look at that. Beautiful. And that's how you make smoked salmon in a good old-fashioned pit. Till next time.